Yo, what's up, Free Zombie, and welcome to the Raskoff Satisfaction Escalation in Marrakesh. This is all five levels in one. My name is Mr. Freeze2244. For this one, for the for level one, we're going to need to bring along our fiber wire, our coin, uh, any pistol you want to choose from, really, and we're going to start in the lamp store rooftop. So, what we have to do is assassinate the target while disguised as a shopkeeper. So, when you start on the lamp store roof, you can literally go and grab this disguise right here, and there you go, you've got, you've got the shopkeeper's disguise on. So we're going to create a distraction in the corner of the area where um, the target is going to be. He's actually just going to be in the corner of this alleyway. Here's the target right now, just going past us there. So we're just going to wait for him in this corner, and then we're going to coin him in this in this corner over here and take him out that way. You can encounter a couple of problems with this particular situation. Um, these two will have a conversation. So what you need to do is bump into one of these two people there. And then they're both going to walk away as if the conversation never happened. Well, it wasn't going to happen anyway because we interrupted it. So the target's going to come over here into this corner now. We're just going to coin him into the corner. And then we're going to fiber wire him. It's important to wait an, a couple of seconds before fiber wiring him. Because you can suffer from the wall hack, unfortunately. Which means the NPCs seen through walls seeing you through, commit this crime. So it's important to wait a second or two before garroting him. And then uh, you should be completely fine. The reason why that gets around it is because there is a shopkeeper trying to sell you a lamp and he is looking in your direction and you need to break that line of sight for uh, you know just a second or two and then you should be completely fine committing that kill as long as we dump the body after as well you should have no problems getting the silent assassin rating for level one so that's how that works so again make sure you uh, wait an, a second or two um, and you should be completely fine doing that fiber wire kill if you do it too quickly you'll get the war hacking situation so that will get you the Silent Assassin rating for level 1, and now we can go ahead and move on to level 2. We're actually using the same items for this one, so we're using the same location, the same items as well. All we've got now is an additional target, um, which is um, the, one of the soldiers, I think. Actually, no, it's not one of the soldiers, it's uh, the, one, of the print, one of the print workers that's going to be in the corner of, of working on the little posters and, that, and the propaganda. So we need to take him out. So again, we're using the same styling location. We're going to grab the shopkeeper's disguise. We're going to be using this for pretty much all the levels because um, we don't really need anything else. And if you use just your suit, then you need to, you know, get past that shopkeeper. So it's not advised. Plus, you need to take out the first target in the shopkeeper's disguise anyway. But with the second person here, this print worker over here, you can take him out any way you want to in any disguise. But we're running over here just to trigger that conversation between all the print workers, and that gets the that triggers the um, the target to move through this alleyway here. So that's what we want him to do. We're trying to move him into the position. So we're going to do the same thing as we did in the previous level. So we're going to bump into that woman there, uh, interrupt that conversation, and then to them two are going to disperse. And then that's when the target is going to come over to this corner over here. And again, we're going to do the same thing as we did in the previous level. Coin him in this area and then fiber wire him and then dump his body in the crate. Make sure you leave the area uh, when you throw that coin because the soldier will come around and he will just stare at you and just say, Hey, what are you doing? And what are you throwing their stuff around here? So make sure you do run away and break that line of sight before, uh, you know, trying to go and attack him. So now we're taking care of the first target. You need to do all this pretty quickly, by the way. But once you've uh, taken care of the first target, we're going to come over here. This is where the print worker is going to be. So we're just going to bump into him to stop him. I think he stops anyway, but we just bump into him just to make sure. And you can throw a coin inside this room. He's going to come over to investigate. And that's when we're going to fiberware him and dump his body in the crate. And then once we've done that, we can exit the mission. And that will take care of level 2 uh, Silent Assassin Raider. Nice and clean and nice and easily done. Fiber wire. Special. Beautiful. In this lovely Assassin's Creed outfit. Which I, I, do, I do admire. I quite like it. I'd like an outfit like that. So once we've exited the mission, you'll get the Silent Assassin rating. Then we can go ahead and move on to level 3. So for level 3, this time I'm going to bring along your Krugermeyer. And we're going to bring along the combat knife or any knife you have in your inventory unlocked. 
We're going to bring our coins and we're going to start on the lamp store rooftop. This time we have another target and this time we've got to kill him with electrocution. And it doesn't matter what disguise you wear for that one. But again we're going to use the shopkeeper's disguise because it, it remains a very good disguise for this particular escalation. So the third additional person is going to be the soldier that's going to be down his alleyway. He's going to actually be right next to the second target anyway. So we should be completely fine. So first of all we're going to come over here and shoot that plug right there. So when we turn the plug on a little bit later on, that's going to start sparking and that's when we're going to cause the electrocution. We're actually going to electrocute both of these targets, so we're going to trigger that conversation there, just like we did in the previous level. So now we've set those two uh, kills up, we can now take care of this first target like we did in the previous levels. Only this time I'm going to, find, I'm going to show you a different way to get around the wall hacking situation. So again, we're just going to bump into that, uh, that woman there, it's going to interrupt the conversation, them two are going to disperse. And then we're going to throw a coin in the corner of this area over here. And I'm going to show you a different technique on how to avoid the wall hacking situation. We're going to actually use the knife. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not on about just uh, using the melee attack. I'm on about throwing the knife at his head. And that will avoid all wall hacking completely. You'll have no problem. Uh, we don't even have to dump his body. In fact, if we have to do this quickly, we're just going to leave his body there. He won't be found anyway, so you don't need to worry too much. But here's where the two targets. So we're actually just going to wait for the print worker there to um, walk into the puddle. Watch out for the security guard that's in front of you though. His head turning can spot you turning this plug on. So you just need to watch out for him. So once the print worker has died, turn the, uh, the, uh, the plug back on uh, once the soldier is looking forward. And that's when we can head straight to the exit. We know the soldier is going to go into that puddle anyway. He's going to be you know checking on the body and stuff. So he's going to get electrocuted as you can see there at the top right corner of your screen. And that will take care of the third target and complete the mission for the escalation of level 3. So there's your Sonic Assassin rating, it's pretty quick as well. Nice and easily done. So for the next level I'm going to show you level 5 because it's exactly the same as level 4. So do this technique for level 4 and 5. So this one, you've got to eliminate your first target, you must eliminate another target within 10 seconds of each other. If you fail you to do so, you will uh, lose the uh, no, you'll lose your fail. So for this one, I'm going to bring along on the concealable baton, the remote breaching charge, the Krugermeyer, have the coins stored in the lamp store alley, and we're going to start on the lamp store rooftop. So we have to kill all three targets with an explosion, and you have to do all of them within 10 seconds of each other. We're going to take all three of them out at exactly the same time. So uh, this is why it's exactly the same for level four and five. Level four, you just have to kill all three targets. Uh, with an explosion. For level 5 they've added that timer but both techniques are exactly the same. There's no difference at all between level 4 and 5 doing it this technique. So we're literally just going to go straight up to this corner again after we put the shopkeeper's disguise on. Again triggering this conversation. And once you've triggered that conversation we're going to go and take care of the first target. We're not actually going to kill him yet though. Like I said we're taking out three targets all at once. So we're just going to do the same thing as we did previous levels, bump into the woman, grab your coins from the store point, and we wait for them to move out of the way. We're going to throw the coin in the corner to distract the guard. Once you've done that, we're going to run out of the area. We'll wait for him to go into the corner. Usually he goes over straight away. Sometimes he can radio in, but usually goes over straight away, so you should have a little bit more time than what I'm actually showing you. But pull out your concealable baton, smack him on the back of the head with it, and then drop a breach charge on his body. Make sure it's right on him or next to him. Put your other breach charge away, and then grab this propane tank over here, and you know, you've guessed it, we're going to do the propane tank um, and breach charge technique. So we're just going to bump into this target here, get in the middle, and then drop the breach charge while the, uh, the propane tank is in your hand. You can explode it and it's going to take out all three targets simultaneously and you can exit the mission straight away after that and you'll get the silent assassin rating for level five again it's exactly the same technique for level four but that's going to do it for this entire escalation so hopefully you've enjoyed it and you've this has helped you out feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers